Hello there. Many thanks for keeping a date with me on the program Road to 2019, a weekly program specially designed to keep you abreast with events as they unfold on the Road to 2019 election. My name is Sonny Duke Okos, your host on the program. As usual, we'll begin by looking at some of the key happenings within the week under review. Without wasting time, President Muhammadu Buhari has signed the Not Too Young to Run Bill into law. The President signed the bill on Thursday yesterday inside the Council Chamber of the State House Presidential Villa in the presence of selected invited youths from across the country. Mr. Buhari on Tuesday during the state broadcast showed Nigerians that the Not Too Young to Run Bill will be signed into law in a few days' time. However, in a brief remark after he signed the bill, the president told his audience, comprising representatives of young persons from the 36 states and Abuja, that you can aspire for president, but please postpone your campaign until after 2019 election. I'm sure that was really on the light side for Mr. President. But as a follow-up, the U.S. Embassy in Abuja has congratulated Nigerian youths after President Muhammad Buhari finally signed the Not Too Young to Run bill on Thursday. In a tweet posted via the official handle, the U.S. Embassy stated that government supports a free, fair, and inclusive process. Congratulations to Nigerian youths, as at NGR President. Of course, all the hashtag uh, you're seeing there, the U.S. supports a free, fair, an inclusive political process in Nigeria that includes the voices of young people, women, and the disabled, the statement read. Well, a big plus, of course, uh, last year, later part of last year, that became a major talking point. And on the show today, we'll be looking at that. But a major talking point is the state broadcast by Mr. President on Tuesday, May 29, which is now accepted in Nigeria as Democracy Day. 19 years in the practice of democracy in Nigeria and three years as far as the present administration is concerned down the road. How has the journey been? As expected, Mr. President used the opportunity to articulate the achievements, the challenges, and of course the prospect for the country as we go in the last lap of the present administration. However, as expected too, Many Nigerians cutting across the different strata of the society reacted to the state broadcast. Some say, well, the broadcast did not really address the core issues. Well, that's certainly uh, as expected, as I mentioned before. That's our major talking point on the program today. I have with me in the studio a civil society activist, the President Network of Civil Society Organization of Nigeria. Barrister Abraham of Yahweh. Barrister Abraham of Yahweh, many thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. And good evening. We're expecting another comrade who is, incidentally, is the chairman of the Southwest Local Government, Comrade Destiny in Nabulele, to also join this discussion. And from the UK, uh, Honorable Pius Alile will be joining us live via telephone to also look at this issue. Once again, we thank you for keeping a date with us on the program Road to 2019. Well, let's start off right away. Yeah, yeah the state broadcast um, by Mr. President has been, uh, has received different reactions. I mean, for, for some analysts, the President articulated the key issues, the key points, addressed the key issues as far as that broadcast was concerned. But in your opinion, what were your major misgivings or otherwise about the broadcast? Naturally, if, if considering the current situation of our country in terms of the economy, in terms of security, in terms of uh, inflation, one naturally would have expected something radically different. But one thing we must appreciate if we want to be very objective, that no matter what Mr. President gives as his Democracy Day broadcast, Nigerians will naturally want to tie the sincerity of purpose that are, that are attached to those key issues, those key words which he ordinarily would have used. Because if in the last three years, exactly three, three years, last three years, the president was sworn into power, and Nigerians, considering the way upon which he rode to, the, to power, one would have expected a more radical approach, 
one would have uh, 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 experienced a situation where the rule of law. He alluded to so many facts with, with respect to fighting corruption. If we are to look at those issues, Nigerians can come out with over 10 to 20 situations where Mr. President have looked to the other side. He talked about building strong institutions. We can also I, I allude to, to facts very strongly that in the last three and a half years, a lot have happened. Yes, we were not expecting a puppet man. He lamented that he met serious problem on ground. Mr. President must not forget that it is on the strength of this problem that we're on ground that Nigerians voted him into power to solve. If after three years, he is still lamenting those lamentations, the book of lamentations have already lamented. Therefore, it means that he created the impression that the situation of this country overwhelmed him in the last three years. And I do not know that moving on to, to, to 2019, what well, Mr. President, we still have to offer Nigerians that we cushion their effect, that may turn that test, that's our test we now have in our mouth. As to the various sectors that were economy, we now know how much it sells. Is it the inflation? The fuel price, we knew how it were before Mr. President came in. And we knew all the electionary promises we had in 2015, 2015. And now we're going to 2019. We, 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 we'll be confronted with, with, with issues of a man who has tested power. Because in, in 2015, the issues were that I have not been there. These are what the pre past people have done wrongly. These are what I will do rightly. Now you'll be confronted with showing your stewardship. Nigerians will not, will not take rhetorics for, 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 for a bargain to determine whether or not, Mr. President, we have the capacity to. And, 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 and like you have rightly mentioned, the not too young to, to rule bill, which he said in a few days' time, was we'll signed yes, to sign law. law. That he has done. I see it as one of the constitutional duty which the process of making law behoves of Mr. President. The Senate have done a very fantastic job by ensuring that comes to limelight. Mr. President have only performed a statutory duty as required by, 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 by law. If Mr. President has failed to sign, if such B goes back to the National Assembly and after 30 days it becomes law, what Mr. President have done is nothing special. We have had government in the past who have refused to give their assent and, and, and also who have withdrawn their assent. I agree. What Mr. President have done will go there in history as being progressive, but let's not blow it out of proportion. The reason being that we're talking about the practicability. Rather than thinking of not too young to the wrong, let's have a law which we say we place a, a age limit upon which such sensitive office that I need a man who is very, very, very strong cerebral to take Nigeria to the Eldorado. If you look at the Western world as we see today, their countries are now being handed over to, in the hands of the youth between the age of 37 and 50. Look at the Western world, whose economy put the, the African economy all together is not as strong as they, it, it, it's not as strong, it's not stronger than theirs. But, but, but they have a very large economy, but they have handed it over to the hands of the young men. And so we argue that those young men who they have handed it over to have acquired quality education, have acquired the, the, the requisite skill and techniques, they, they have the political will, they have a running system, and they have fully empowered and, 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 and mentally prepared to drive the, 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 the ship of government. I agree with them, but I also say that in Nigeria we have very competent people, but the cost of elections, the cost of bankrolling an election is, is, is extremely huge. Yes. And as such, if any young man, whether you, you have not made uh, ascension to, 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 to the office of, of, of member of the House of Assembly, or member of the House of Friends to the age of 25, you still have a hood role to play by way of you must have huge capital. What job, in its sincerity, the, the list of a man that, that would have graduated from the university will be a period of 20 and 21. What, how long will a man would have worked for four years and he's 25? He wants to run for the, for, 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 for the House of Assembly or the National Assembly. When you know how huge, how much is the purchase of form? You know how elections are done in Nigeria. You, you know how it's very expensive. So you need one with a financial war chest. Whether the age comes to 20, but if we have a system that runs, if we have a system that believes in the process, a vibrant electoral process, where we competence will not be sacrificed on the altar of financial aggrandizement. I am convinced very strongly that that not too young to, 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 to rule will make more meaning 
that we have. Rather than celebrate over the young, not too young to, to run, we must ensure that we advocate very radically for a strong and viral electoral system. Now, you're talking this way, Barrister Viawe. Um, many people will say, well, Barrister Viawe is a civil activist. This seems to be the posture of the average civil activist antagonizing government don't see anything good that government is doing. Uh, arising from the state broadcast by Mr. President, are you saying that that broadcast, in that broadcast, the core issues of governance were not adequately addressed? Just to say that by way of that, what, what is expected? We have had what is expected. You see, when you have a president who speaks to the issue from a very dispassionate perspective, that is one. When you speak to a, to, to a particular issue, take for example insecurity in this country. Whatever Mr. President would have said about insecurity in this country, I can convince you that what we have on ground in the last three years, Mr. President has not practically forget about that 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 national breakfast which was aired all over the world. When he said he was going to deal decisively. With yes. No, for, so, so what, what, what were you expecting? Were you expecting to say something less than that? Get it very clear. Is he not supposed to give hope and assurances up, to, yes, to you, his constituents? Get it clear. People? Get it clear. My view is very simple. What Mr. President has have said is not radically different from what any other president would have said caught in that situation. But we had asked, how long have this issue really lingered? How has Mr. President been able to handle it? What is the strength of the security architecture of this country? How was the capacity of the police talking about the IG? What are their formation? Today we have a country, a, a security architecture, which is now in the hands of one, 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 one group in this country, one part of this country. And as I speak to, 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 to you, the story is the same in Benue, the same in Taraba, the same in Kaduna, even in one of those states. I remember being slaughtered on a daily, daily basis. What have been the progressive mode of government? In terms of rather than that, that, that war is here on the print and the electronic media. Don't forget, a former minister for defense had said a few months ago that the military is colluding with bandits to attack his people. And that such statement, when was the national security advisor of this country who understands the, the, the security architecture like every other security chief who understands what it takes to make such expensive statements? I speak to you. The Nigerian government haven't taken him up on that very salient issues. But the army carried out uh, an investigation and did a report on, on, on what... Uh, what would have expected? What, what, what he said. Such statement in itself. Such statement in itself is an insult. Something in itself is an indictment on the Nigerian military. What would have uh, expected in such a situation? That the military should keep well without making statements? And my argument is that whatever statement did the military make in as much as... It does not translate in the protection of the life and property. Section 14, section 2B says, the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of governance. Whatever Mr. President says, whatever the chief of army staff says, whatever the national security advisor and other security chiefs, including the president of police, whatever he says, if it does not translate into the security and the lives of individuals, as I speak to you, we know over hundreds of thousands of people are, 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 are refugees. There it becomes. And Mr. President is talking about corruption. We have seen those who are suffering from insecurity. I even being robbed. Funds made to cater for them have been used to come here and reach themselves. Only recently, within the last 33 years, we had a secretary to the government of the Federation. He was scrupulously indicted. We are against contract of clearing of grasses in the IDB camp to over 200 million naira. And as such, the same president, the attorney general of the Federation, gave me a clean bill of health. He took the hue and cry of Nigerians to compare the federal government to set up a high power delegation, if you like, an investigative committee to investigate, headed by, by the current vice president, for which he was scrupulously indicted and as such he was removed. As I speak to, 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 to you, if the president is addressing the issue of a strong and federal ju judiciary, where corrupt officers will be prosecuted and meant to, 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 to face the fruit of the law, I expect that as a sign of statesmanship, yeah. as a sign of one who is clean, the secretary to the government of the federal, we have governors under his own political party. We have a plethora of petitions. We have, Mr. President, in the past, have been carried 
to go and commission a project that, that didn't work after I left there. There are plethora of petitions with respect to such issues that have not been looked into because they are members of his political party. And here he talks about anti corruption war. He talks, he, 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 he talks about the of a country. And these issues are still prevalent. Ah, nobody would take him seriously. Okay, now, now let's just take a point from what you said. Um, someone was indicted for allegedly misappropriating IDP funds. Yes. Uh, you said until Nigerians raised their voices and of course were against the seeming slow response of the government in dealing with that issue, um, Mr. President eventually responded after an investigative panel indicted the person and the person was subsequently showed the way out and they handed over to security agencies. Now, isn't that what is expected of statesmanship, that your people cry out, make an observation about an issue that they are not comfortable with, and then you respond? Isn't that what commending the president for? Let me also tell you that, yes, we, we, if you wish to commend the president, I will not commend the president. Do not forget that initially when that issue was raised, it, takes, it took several months before all of this happened. And let me tell you, that is one in a million cases that have been But, but, is, but is, isn't that what democracy is about? If an issue is raised, you go through the due process for investigation and other things that needs to be done before an action is... Isn't that what democracy is about? When you talk about due pr 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 process, yes. if, I agree with the fact that there are presumptions of innocence. Mm -hmm. If an official of government, the federal government in this case, for example, has been indicted and... The Attorney General solely rushed out to, to give me a clean bit, bit, bit of heads. Come on. Why don't you allow this man to be subjected to the... Why, why rush you to defend him? If you, 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 you are not best of same, of same favor, now why rush him? And that is just one issue. Let me also give you two other examples in the last three years. Minor was indicted by the previous administration for, for, the, for the pension scam. That funds meant for pensioners, he, he ate it. He was indicted and he was removed from, from, from office. When the matter was trying to fizzle out, we, 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 we saw a magical arrangement where the cabal sought to bring him back through the back door. The pain is not that he was brought back through the back door. The pain was that he was not only brought back, he was promoted for a job well done, which we, we is suggesting the fact that there are second cow. The, the bubble burst. Nigerians, it, it, it became in the lips of Nigerians. Mr. President, hurriedly directed that he should be removed. Must he not be removed? Oh, good. He, he, is it that commendable at all? Let me also tell you that immediately that happened, the Senate woke up again to say an issue that we already know. They, they called on the, 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 the House Committee to, 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 to commence an oversight function in determining the painful part is that the Attorney General went to court to sort an injunction restraining the Senate from investigating minor. And that is shielding a man who has stolen. Let us see the head of the current anti graft agency in Nigeria. I am talking about the EFCC. As we speak to you, another agency of government, I'm talking about the DSS, came out with a dummy report saying the chairman of the anti graft agency is totally corrupt. They read they read that facts, giving birth to the fact that the man has corruptly enriched himself. He has used his position in the most reckless manner. And such person, by way of security report, is not fit and proper to be chairman of the ESCC. The Senate on the strength of which rejected his appointment and refused to confirm him. As I speak to you, despite such dummy revelations, Mr. President, as we speak, still left him there for over a year as acting chairman. And such president on a live broadcast is coming out to say we will fight a, a corrupt politicians, the, 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 the war against corruption in Nigeria is total. That is not correct. That is not, yes, they may have made the, the speech like, like every statement will make, but we are concerned about the issues behind the speech in reality as it is in Nigeria currently today. Okay. And I thought who would not take, take that as palatable to us. Mr. President, yes, I've given him a speech, but putting the reality, because of the issues okay, let me just that will determine to, to 2019. Let, let I'll come back to you in a moment. If you just join us, you're on to Road to 2019, state broadcast by the President on Democracy Day.
Tuesday, May 29, is the focus. I mean, we're trying to interface the state broadcast and the current challenges. I did say at the beginning that on Bopai Salile will be joining us live from the UK uh, to also bear his mind on some of the issues raised in that state broadcast. I'm sure we have on Bopas Alile live from UK. Hello, Pius. Hello, Pius. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. That's uh, Pastor Lele. We'll, we'll just hope that um, he can hear us. If he can hear us, just uh, get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. It, it, it will be better <laughs> if we have, have that uh, mic at the back of the phone where the, uh, the speaker is. Yeah, hello, Pius. Good evening. Hello. Okay, just, just uh, we'll get Pius, we'll put Pius back on track so he'll be able to contribute to the discussion. Yeah, you, you, you talked about the fight. I mean, the present administration came on three mantra, fight against corruption, security, and the economy. And you raised some fundamental issues about the fight against corruption. Just uh, earlier this week, we saw a former governor of Taraba State being sentenced to uh, 14 years imprisonment for alleged for stealing 1.6 over 1. something billionaire. Isn't that something this administration should be scored highly for in the fight against corruption? Let me also say very strongly that the civil society were very glad to hear that judgment. Quite frankly, we we have not been able to read the judgment, but one thing is clear that the judge in their magnum opus, the judge in its magnum opus have sentenced him to 14 years imprisonment with that option of fine. Okay. An indication that he should be made to face. But yes, it, just, it, just a moment. I think I have uh, Pius Alile live. Hello, Pius. Hello. Yes, Pius, good evening. Hello, Pius, good, good evening. evening. Good evening, Pius Alile. Yes, good evening. Thank you for joining us on Road to 2019. How are you doing today? Okay, I, I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, the state broadcast by Mr. President uh, as it relates to the current challenges in the country. I'm sure even while in the UK, you also monitored democracy there as it were. Okay. So wh wh what are your thoughts? Oh, sorry, the line is not, the line is not clear enough. I'm not hearing you properly. Okay, it, it's breaking. Can you come close a little bit? Um, uh, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that on Democracy Day, the, the state broadcast by Mr. President addressed a whole uh, wide range of issues, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so what, what are your thoughts on the issues canvassed in the state broadcast by Mr. President? You just said, you just said, just hold on, Pius. Just hold on a second. Can you just hold on a so second, Pius? Yeah, just hold on. Can you hold on a second? I believe you can hear me, Pius. Okay. Just, just hold on a second. Uh, I, I'm sure uh, it would be a sweeping statement to say, come 2019, 
the APC government will be kicked out. I'm sure we we'll have to wait for the election to take place first. No, no, John, it, it, is, it is a possibility. Until the election is done, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, it, it will just not be proper for us to say that. But let me just take you on the point. Let me, hold on, let me take you, let me take you on the point. Yeah, just, just, let, just let me take you on the point, Pius. Let me take you on the point. Let me take you on the point. Uh, they say, uh, he who seeks equity must come with clean hands. You talked about some people that are being prosecuted now for alleged involvement in corruption. In your judgment, in your judgment, do you think that these people are clean of what they have been accused of? We have to, we have to, our society has to be fair. But if there is no more shooting, shooting of corrupt elements in your party and going after uh, other elements, we have to. This is the society to be fair, the society must be just. There must be equity, there must be justice. Everybody is keeping the law before the law. So if the government is shooting some criminal elements, this is government. That is what we are not, we are not with the society. We are not, we are not getting rid of the society of corruption. You see? So, as far as I am concerned, it is, uh, uh, it is good that they are going after some people, that they can also go after the FPC members or FPC officials who are, who have allegations, who are alleged to, uh, 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 who are alleged, or who have so many corruption cases. Yes, we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, 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 Pius, just a moment, Pius, just a moment. Yes, this, this people that, these people that you have in mind, these people that you have in mind, these people that you have in mind, these are allegations against them. A court of competent jurisdiction has not, has not, um, pronounce them guilty so trust me as possible to play down on names because these people that you're mentioning here they are not physically present on this program to respond hello hello pius can you just pause for a moment can you just pause for a moment can you pause for a moment now let, let me let me take you back let me take you to the let me take you back to the state broadcast let me take you back to the state broadcast by mr president where he promised that uh in few days time he will sign into law the non too young to run bail. On Thursday, yesterday, he did that. He made that promise on Tuesday. What do you make of that? Yes. Yes. No, I want to commend him for doing that. I want to commend him for doing that. And I want to also say that that is an indication that he should have a rule of law. Yes, I commend him for telling me what he wants to do. And you go wrong. I commend him for that. But that is just a basis for his time that he is not the people of the room. So come to that other than he is to what he commenced in the election. Because he's the people of the But he, he has, he has a right to contest. He has a right to contest. <laughs> yes, uh, Pius, let me ask you a question. Doesn't he have a right to contest? This, this is your personal opinion. This is your personal opinion, Pius. Yes, Pius. Doesn't he have a right to contest as a Nigerian? Are you going to, can you take that right away from him? Yes, doesn't, doesn't he have a right? He has a right to contest. By, by your, by, that's by your judgment. Pius, I, 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 I'm sure you agree with me that that's a subjective opinion. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Are you are you are you his are you his medical doctor? Are you his medical doctor that has that has um that are, are you his medical doctor to be in a position to determine the status of his health and his ability or inability to contest? What evidence what evidence are you talking about? What evidence? Okay. All right. All right. 
Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm excited by the fact that you, you accepted it that he has the right to contest. You also accepted that you're not a medical doctor to be able to assess his uh, health status to be able to contest. But I just want to thank you, Pastor Lille, for joining us live on Route to 2019 from the UK. I'm sure uh, we'll be able to have you more on this program in subsequent edition. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Lee. Thank you. Well, I've been talking with uh, Honorable Pius Lille, uh, a chieftain of the ADP in the state, also the president and founder of Pastor Lille Coalition Initiative, joining us live from the UK to uh, bear his mind on some of the issues raised in the broadcast by Mr. President on Democracy Day, Tuesday, May 29. Like you know, we always say views expressed on this program are entirely uh, the views of those expressing it. They are not, uh, will never be the views of the station. And of course, uh, we we'll also try as much as possible to invoke all our guidelines to ensure that we do not go above limits. Well, all the same, thank you, Pius, for being a part of the program. Now, I have uh, Barrister Abraham Obiawe, the President, Network of Civil Society Organization of Nigeria, like with me in the studio. Yeah, we were talking about the um, the, the judgment on the former governor of Taraba State, which, of course, uh, 14 years imprisonment, I said that's a plus for this administration. So when you say that's a plus for this administration, the impression to be created is that the, the administration determines how and the way and manner the, the courts run its process. Don't forget. Is the court not part of the administration? Get the judiciary is a part of the administration. It's an independent arm. But it's a part of this administration. It's a part of go government. Okay. It's a part of government. This administration only got to the power three years ago. And the prosecution of the former governor of, of Taraba State, as it were, started in 2007. In 2007. And this administration only came in three years ago. What that presupposes is that whether or not this administration had come into power, the process has already started. And we also heard that Jolly Yame actually ran to the APC with a view to getting soccer. And the, 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 the body language of, uh, was that they have gone too far in the day to, <laughs> yes, to, to have a, a, a soccer. It's a, maybe a safe yeah, landing or a safe haven. Yes, yes that the, the bad seed they have planted, there was need for him to conveniently water it. <laughs> So, so it can, like he's ripping the food. Let me also say very clearly that I concede with the fact that there was need to stop the previous administration in 2015. If Nigerians had known that this was the bargain, they were going to find themselves in such precarious conditions like we have never found ourselves. The need to do that. We canvassed for the current administration. We are fed up of the level of impunity. Let me also say that, that we are engaging this current administration on hypocrisy. Does it mean that the previous administration had acted better? We are saying that they are, same, they are one and the same thing. These were the issues Nigerians saw and the need to bring you in became inevitable. Nigerians went to Mount Olipos, advocated for the president, voted in mass for, 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 for him from the, 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 this area we monitored as, as, as it were. I mean, said, I mean, the south, even though he didn't win in a dose as it were, but we had given support across the board, we translated into victory at the poll. If three years down the lane, I challenge Mr. Pre president to come out and tell us what the administration has done in the last three years to better the loss of the people. We had the, the, the Minister for, for, for Finance saying they have saved a lot of money. It doesn't matter to Nigerians as it stands now how much you have saved from overhead costs. What Nigerians want to know, how have you been able to trickle these savings down to the entire good, maximum good of the people? Our people are, are quietly losing their farmland. Only this money we had of kidnapping again to today of, of, of kidnapping for, for a man who went to his farm by a headsman. It's becoming a recurring decimal. 
The Boko Haram, which is have also said that they, they, they have technically de de defeated. We see here they have they wreck on a daily basis. We are yet to contend with, with that. We heard about the Dapchi girls. You also the drama that surrounded their, their comeback. And as we speak, one of the girls who was said to be a Christian is yet to return back. Yeah, but we just heard that um, there are efforts to ensure that she is uh, released. And then, of course, that the remaining Chibok school girls are also released. What I'm trying to tell you is that the issues which necessitated the emergence of this government, which triggered the, the, the mass of support by the mass of the people, this government, are still very there. And by the body language of government, it is radically clear that there is no progressive move towards nipping this in the board. Rather, we have had lip service. We saw a president who said he sent the IG to Benue State. And the town hall meeting, he said, I didn't know he, he didn't come. You ask the president, he says he, he, he does, doesn't know. We know how long Mr. President has stayed outside this country. What am I trying to tell you on a non share? Yes, Mr. President has had a fair share of governance twice. God has been faithful to him. In the after 2019, my humble advice, that if, because if, if the president truly believes in this not too young to run bill, which he has signed, he should step down. But he jokingly said that uh, youths should not <laughs> contest in 2019. I mean, they can, they can no, come No, that apparently cannot yeah. be a joke. The, yeah. the fact that but, he <laughs> said it, and it was hilarious, and he laughed over it, yes. doesn't mean he was joking. He nicodemously stated clearly what are, his actions are, his plans for, for 2019. Ah, that don't bother, bother, bother. I am coming back there. And let me also tell you, these were the styles of the PDP before 2015. But Nigerians humbled them. They were humbled by Nigerians. And I am telling you that if you feel the pulse of Nigeria as it currently stands, there is disaffection everywhere, disenchantment. The people are pained. People are sad. People can, 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 can easily get two or three square but, meals. But isn't that again. a sweeping statement? The people are pained. The people are sad. How did you come about that sweeping empirical evidence to back the statement that you just made you see it, why, it, why, don't it doesn't sound it, it doesn't look real or it happens mm -hmm. you see as a civil society practitioner i can conveniently say that we represent the mass of the people we are we 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 we, we, we do not we do not live an exotic life that have not disconnected us from the people as it were and when i'm talking about the people i'm talking about the mass of the people who feel the brunt, the mass of the people who feel whatever p -p -p policies. Because this government official, no matter the strength of policies that come in, they don't buy food, they get official cars, all their lives are paid for, their accommodation are, are embedded, all the life they live are paid by taxpayers' money. They don't feel the pains. So it's convenient for, 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 for them. Let me also tell you, if this country must be a better place, I have felt that Mr. President, when he was coming in in 2015, part of the campaign promises, they, they, they made heavy weather with respect to the fact that medical tourism should be discouraged. Particularly, we have Mr. President, who God has shown mercy on, despite his head congratulations, like we have had him leave the country for as large as 90 days. I would have expected, if there's one le legacy Mr. President should leave, is to ensure we get a 21st century health facilities in this country that can save the cost of going abroad for medical tourism. Okay. Now, That's the, 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 the order you're not done. Okay. And, and, and I think it's, it's a very painful one. Okay. If you just join us, you're on to Road to 2019 on ITV Satellite, Go TV, Channel 107, Star Times Channel 130. You can also follow us live on our website, www.itvradionigeria.com forward slash live stream. Of course, you can follow the conversation after the program on our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash ITVRadioNG. Well, uh, we have our studio number that you can also send a live WhatsApp message to. And then, of course, we'll read them just before we call it a wrap on the program for this week. Uh, the road to 2019 is uh, getting more interesting. What are your major concerns in the build up to 2019 on the part of INEX, the political parties, and the electorate? You see, the, the, the challenge 
the challenge we would have foreseen is the issue of insecurity. And if the current administration go the way of prevention where electorate are victimized, where political actors who are perceived to be of proposition to the current government are not allowed to vent their spleen by way of wanting to advocate for their own choice of candidate against the, the, the government in power, there will be a friction. And because the insecurity that have crept into nearly all the states, let's not joke with the, with the headsmanship. Let's not joke about it. Let's not joke about it. It may get to a feverish height, and that becomes a convenient point to manipulate any system. With respect to the strength of the electoral umpire, I will reserve my statement after the Ekiti elections. I will reserve my, my comments because there have been hue and cries as to plans to manipulate the process. But that's natural in favor, with politicians. In favor of but that's natural, any that's party. Natural, that's natural I am trying to, 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 what, what I'm trying to yes. tell you, yes. I am not radically concerned about the specific comments of either parties. Okay. I'm going to be concerned about the role the unbiased umpire are going to play. Natural politicians, we have seen an election where 9 a.m., where elections have not fully settled, so people are already raising a lamp, and they turn to be the winner at the end of the, of the day. They wanted to also be proactive. Okay. I'm not keen about clearly, merely on what the person is saying. I'm going to be concerned about the role, the way and manner. The independent umpires are going to play their own role as required by, 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 by law. If you can get a smooth election in the kitty, which is just one state, that again builds up confidence that moving on to general elections, where 36 states and the federal capital is 37, we will be in issue that they will have the capacity. Don't also forget the, the, the history which they already have as conducted in conclusive elections. Elections. I feel, feel that the, the, the election experience should be an icing of the cake of their capacity to drive the process. I also agree that you may not have a totally free and fair elections, mm. a totally free and fair elections, yeah. but when it is substantially in compliance with what ought to, to be, I feel that it should be accepted. Moving on to, to 2019, I expect that it should be a level playing ground. Political parties must think more progressively. They must look for they, 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 they must look for a candidate who they build others around, rather than building a candidate around other individual. We need a president who will not be ashamed, who, 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 who will not be ashamed to say is our president instead of representation. We need a, a, a president that will not increase the blood pressure of Nigerians. When he is being billed to have an interview with, 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 with president of the Western world, and we need a president who is, who, who is 21st century compliant, we need a president who have the, the, the who feel the pulse of the masses, we need a president that will have the passion for the survivor of his people, we need a president who will not be nepotic, we need a, 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 a president who will be dispassionate in consideration because we have seen appointments, we, 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 we have seen employment. Either in the security forces and other areas, how it has skewed to. This is for, for, for the current formation. Mr. President has sent the not to run to, 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 to the rule bill. I challenge Mr. President by saying he doesn't have up to 10, 15% of young men in his cabinet. And as such, I do not believe that he believed in that bill which he signed. Mr. President, do not if, believe. If he didn't believe it, why did he sign it? Yes. If let me you are tell you, he didn't believe now it. Now you have seen. Oh, he signed it. Now you have seen. Isn't that a demonstration of his belief we, in the bill? No. If, if he didn't sign it, no. you say, well, he don't didn't forget believe, that my starting it. point was was was, was, was to analyze the hypocritical posture of politicians. Yeah. I, I you will agree with me that the road to 2019, we now see governors are now used to now eating corn and Kokoyama Frank <laughs> Gary with the mama, mama, mama masses because elections are not coming. They, they, they are at liberty to now dance with the people in the are, are the people, square. Are the people wiser? Let me terms, tell, yes, tell, tell are the people wiser? No. They are not wiser. No, no. They are not wiser. Not even wiser. My pain yeah. is that 
Government have been very systematic in impoverishing the people. Systematically, they allow that the dividends of democracy do not trickle down. How strong have the local government been empowered to reach that very grassroots? If I know that from, from, from the, the, the local government administration, development will trickle down to my own community and village, I am less concerned. They have impoverished the people that they, they have choose to, they, they, they do not believe that it is your money that determines whether or not you, you emerge. That's why it's convenient once in, in, in four years to share three to five thousand to the electorate and they, they, they are swayed to vote for, for, for them. I anticipate a revolution that will sweep through the nooks and crannies of this country rather than look at what the candidates have to offer monetary They are concerned about how one with capacity can come and better their lot and it doesn't just start from from, from the, the, the election itself it starts from the nomination process where are the various political parties it is the money bags that emerges as candidate of the party that is why i commend very very strongly the 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 the, 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 the reasoning around the independent candidates if a man is popular as a councillor in his locality he doesn't need to carry the hundreds of thousands or millions to go and give to a political power, power, power party as a, a student of intended form or, 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 or forms. What he needs to do is to register his aspiration with INEC. He speaks with his people who believes in him because yeah. he has joined them in, in, in committing the development. They know he's artistic, they know he's qualified. He has been there he, 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 even before ever meeting the aspiration. Yeah. And as long as they are convinced, that if allowed to get into power, he knows where he's coming from. Yeah. He's part of them. His issues will, 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 will be the reformer. And the society and the country will be better for, 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 for it. I expect that if this are put into perspective, 2019 will come and go on a very good, good note. Okay. The people will determine who will rule them. But I want to say from my own as assessment, this current administration have not lived up to our expectation from 2015 because the issues that necessitated their emergence, we are expected that by now would have gotten have just bet it on this point. Now only a few days ago I heard people that the vice president said that they, 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 they feed over 83 million school children on a daily baby basis in school. I do not know, I am not aware of any of schools within this locality in my state where food Unless the, the food are, are, are being served to, to, to children in the north. But I'm not aware, I've not read anywhere where school to children. I, I know Osho had a program for feeding. How potent that, that program is currently, I know there. So government must not be built on hypocrisy. Government built on propaganda will fall like a pack of cards when it's being confronted with the reality of the moment. All right, thank you very much, uh, Barrister Abraham of Viawe is the president network of civil society organization of nigeria noxon shared his uh, views opinions on the uh, state broadcast by mr president on democracy day may 29 in terms of how uh, the challenges current challenges uh, were appropriately addressed in that broadcast we also had on bopayo salile joining us live from the uk to ventilate his views on that one. We expected you to contribute to the program via the WhatsApp platform, the number on the screen through a message. But since that didn't come, we urge you to continue the conversation on all our social media platforms, specifically on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash ITV Radio NG. That's our program for this week. Be sure to join us next week, Friday, 6-7 on ITV Satellite, Go TV, Channel 107, Star Times Channel 130, and also online, where we shall bring you a fresh edition of the program. On behalf of my analysts here and to all our crew members, this is wishing you a splendid brand new month of June 2018. Bye for now. <laughs>